client that uh, was willing to pay more for this property because they had a relative that lived on the same block that would babysit their kids. There's value there, right? But it's not broad-based value. It's value to this particular person. But it was important to them to have that because that's when you have kids, you don't trust them to just anybody. You want to have them with a relative, preferably. I mean, I was going through that with my granddaughter. She's six months old. You know, they live up in the city. So um, my wife goes <laughs> off and take care of them. The, than the, uh, the babysitter they found, which the babysitter is fine. Uh, but boy, did we go through analysis of trying to establish for their, is that? Um, is that me? I can't do that, huh? No wonder where that was coming from. It might be your cell phone. My cell phone? Could be. I'm not turning that off. Well, you can put it somewhere else. <laughs> Think so, yeah, sometimes that interferes, huh? Yeah. What is wrong with you? All right, this will keep you away. <laughs> yes, sir. So, uh, uh, you know, this is a verbal communication review, right? So the okay, my buyer believes that it's more than what the listing is for. Yeah. Or I believe that the buyer is high. Mm -hmm. But what is like, at the end of the day, he says, okay, I don't know about it. And I was going to pay him for it. So is there anything in the return? Anything there? Because you are involved, right? You are personally involved in buying the property for your family member or yourself. Yeah. How do you prove that? Oh, well, see, it's assumed that you, if you're a licensed, you're assumed to be a professional, okay. somewhat of an expert in the business. That, that's not, the fall on that is not a good defense. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Yeah, so. And how about the people who are doing, you know, on a, on a, on a TV, you say you guys are doing flips, right? Right. So in the flips, they're buying, they're realtors, they're buying for themselves. Right. Do you think every single time they're informing or just putting in an offer? Well, those, usually those flippers, uh, for the more part, they're not licensed. They're just investors. And they're like civilians, they're free to steal whatever they want. Yeah. But uh, also, in addition, I want to stress that if that seller's represented by an agent, you're off the hook from telling them, you know, this is grossly undervalued. I mean, you can certainly pass that on to the agent personally on the side, as a side chat, uh, but not in front of their clients. So. All right, so... We stated that uh, we have to be fair to both clients and customers. Who's a client and who's a customer? Okay, let's say you list property to sell and have the other agents with their buyers come over. The seller is your client and all the buyers that come through are your customers. Conversely, you, license, you, you contract with a buyer to find property. Your buyer is your it is is your um, is your client and all the sellers are your customers so but the bottom line is your your duty to honesty to all parties uh, plays out it also requires I'm having trouble hearing you with this guy if I put yeah. it on your shirt instead of your jacket in the center of your shirt where your buttons are that's where I just took it from oh really? <laughs> yes <laughs> thanks for nothing <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, here's a dilemma that you may have.